Hey guys, Silver Axis Q here making a Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes guide walkthrough achievement thing. Bet you didn't see that coming. Uh, this starts out kind of quick because my recorder got fucked up at the beginning, but as soon as you see that dude on the light, you just kind of like prone down and you want to go up on this ledge when he turns away and then uh, keep running. Switch to your silencer. I know this is kind of like a random video that just springed out of nowhere because I've been doing a lot of Halo stuff, but I just got this game recently and there's some awesome achievements to get to like... Uh, it's S ranking the missions and uh, so this is like an S rank guide for this mission and it's really easy actually it's this is for the first mission so it's kind of like the story and um, so basically what you want to do is wait for that truck to go by and uh, take out your silencer because this dude's gonna see you now make sure you stop when you're and don't don't be moving and shoot the guy when you go into reflex mode because when you do that your aim kind of goes off a little bit and that could potentially make you miss so just kind of stop and uh, that's and take him out now the the reflex mode you will not get like the bonus points for not using it which is fine you can still s rank the mission without it uh, so you don't need it but there's also a guy there and now once you've once you're around this area somewhere you want to call the helicopter uh, a bit early because we're going to be blazing through this part so once you take out that dude there's gonna be another one in the far back that is patrolling around. Now, I've gotten caught by this guy like three times while playing. It. There it is, right there. But uh, you can just go up close and use a re your reflex mode. And uh, I was almost going to hit that sign there. I probably would have gotten caught here if it was just a few more seconds. But thankfully not. After you take him out, put his ass to sleep, go and open this door. And uh, now we're going to go get Chico, who is in his cage right here. As soon as you can, as you can see, I mess it up there. You want to hit select and skip the cutscene because we're going for speed here man we're going for speed now uh i think the fastest i've seen this done is like seven to eight minutes i don't i don't remember how long it was i just did uh, i did this in about nine and a half so it's not too bad now there are guards uh like to the left of you so if you want to cheese it pretty damn quick out of there along that ridge because if you wait too long they will probably come over there and see you um so once you get here, you want to drop him down because Snake will like bend down to like get the tape from Chico and stuff. So you want to skip that and then pick his ass back up because he can't walk because he's fucking lazy. And uh, just put him on the helicopter when it when it gets here. You can just mash that Y button or if you're using PlayStation, mash the triangle button maybe. I don't know what the action button is. And the tape's going to be playing. You can cancel the tape if you want, but uh, I didn't hear because that's kind of like a waste of time. So you want to jump up on this ridge to the right here afterwards because we need to go save pause now and uh we already know where she is but the whole point of the tape is to find out where she is now there's some guards to the left so that's why i prone here and go over this rock because you can't be quick enough and just run by but i, I don't think i was or i didn't want to take the risk to be quick enough there so i just decided to prone over it and there's going to be a guy on the left here and a guy on the right now we're going to want to get in that tr Ugh truck sorry i'm almost hiccuping and uh once he's gone you want to take out this guy on the left make sure to get those headshots so they instantly go to sleep as you can see i fucking missed there and uh crouch your way on over to the truck and hop in that because we're going to be going to like that big building over there that you can see now be careful back here you don't want to make too much noise you are a little free to move around but he can he has ears like a fucking hawk this guy in the truck and he can hear you and like shine his flashlight in and check it out and shit. So make sure not to do that. Now uh, you can't S rank all these missions on uh, normal, which is what I'm doing, because there is an achievement for S ranking all of them, which is this mission and all these side ops. So that's what these guides are going to be for. I believe there's like seven or eight maybe. So this is the first video of those. Now. You see this green tarp here. You want to get ready to jump out as soon as you can because there is a camera right there. And uh, right here is when you want to jump out and just kind of walk your way over. The camera is timed well for it to be turned away while you jump out. So you want to go over to this vent, kind of get in here, crawl to the other side nice and slowly because Snake likes to crawl nice and slowly. And we're waiting. There's a little rat over there. Look at that. I like how detailed this game is. It's very nice, especially the audio quality. Now here you don't want to run because that's what I did and you can easily get caught. 
I thought I was already inside. I forgot that the vent does not take you inside. It's just takes you over to this part, which is where we need to be. But I just forgot, and that dude saw me when I started booking it. So thankfully, the other guards did not see that. And uh, I, you just kind of take your, your way through the door here. Now, there's going to be a guard on the left, so you can cheese it over here. CQC his ass to the ground. Take out your assault rifle. Make sure the silencer is on so nothing hears you. Take out that camera because we just don't want to deal with that shit because it can be annoying to, to time it correctly. Um, and it just makes this run a whole lot faster. Now, there's going to be two guards here. Be careful going down the stairs because they can't see you uh, if, you're, if you go down the stairs quickly. Now, I'm going to miss like three shots here, so don't mind me. Uh, you know, just <laughs> missing everything. As soon as that guy goes out, this dude is like blind as fuck. I'm sitting back here and he cannot see me. But just take them both out. And if you take them both out when they're back there, that actually kind of makes your job easier for going back when you have Paz with you. Um, so go up here. There she is. They're messing her up. That's not cool, bro. So we got to get her the fuck out of here. So pick her up and go back out the way you came in. However, be careful around this corner because there will be a guard right there, as you can see. Now, I thought there was going to be two, but maybe I was wrong. I remember there being two guards maybe after you pick her up, but I guess not. I'm not sure. Confusing. Anyways, um, since that camera's taken out, we don't have to worry about that. Just cheese it onto the right side here, so that way you can pop out and reflex this dude in the face as soon as he sees you. Oh, you don't need those extra reflex points. You can go for it if you want, but it, you'll probably be a bit slower. You can still S rank it, but you'll just be a little bit slower. And I was just going for some speed here. No. Now, you want to keep going straight and be quick about it. However, I was not quick about it because I was like, oh shit, I'm not supposed to be in here. I'm going the wrong way. So I had to cheese it back over here. Uh, if they see you, it's not that big of a deal because they're pretty far away and it's raining and stuff. However,. I went to sprint here, and this dude saw me, so, oh, shot of the century right there. Nailed him, one bullet, put his ass to sleep. If I would have missed that one shot, I would have gotten caught because of how far away he was. So, thankfully, I nailed that bullet right in the dome. Now, there's going to be two guards over here on the right side, so you want to take them out real nice and quickly. I think you can go straight across the runway without them seeing you because it's, like, dark and rainy and stuff, but uh, I was just going for a more safer route here rather than trying to do that because when you have to replay seven minutes of gameplay over again and over and over again just because you wanted to try something uh you know that really sucks so i didn't want to do that and you want to call your helicopter into this position over here i almost called it into the wrong one don't call it into the red ones call it into these and uh just kind of go down this little hill here with pause now there's going to be a guard on the right by that american flag and so just kind of pop around the corner here he won't see you he's facing the other way and i'm going to miss one two three four five and there's the six bullet all right it's okay you don't you don't need the bullets uh anymore well you're gonna need one more but as long as you have one extra bullet or two in case you miss or possibly three like i have then you're gonna be good because there's going to be a guard uh on the left of this little tarp thing here with the fence so just take him out i don't think you need to take him out but I was just being safe. Again, this was a safe run. I wouldn't necessarily uh, count this as a speed run. It was nine and a half minutes, but I was being very safe and cautious about everything. And even still, I almost fucked up like two or three times. So that shows you how good I am at this game. Anyways, you called the chopper earlier, so it should be here shortly. So just kind of wait here with pause and try to teabag, but it's kind of not working. It's really difficult with her on my back. And uh, so, yeah, that is the first mission done. S-ranked. Um, call the chopper here. Wait for him to him to drop down. And uh, so, yeah, that was like nine and a half minutes, I believe. Or like nine minutes and 40 seconds was my, was my final time. So the time does factor into you getting a higher score. And, of course, not killing anybody or not, uh, like being detected or raising the guards awareness for anything uh, which I don't think I did I hope not but um yeah so you don't like I said you don't need the reflex score it's not really that important it's only like an extra five six thousand points I believe could be wrong on that but it's not uh, you don't need it to get s rank as long as you are quick and sly like I am so 
There you go. There's the end of mission results. 9 minutes and 24 seconds with a 60k score at the end there. Not bad, not bad. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next mission.